for Danny Green, who received a very brave three from Todd McKenney. Well, a week is a long time in dancing. Let's see how Danny and dance partner Natalie bounced back. You can't stuff up like that. You stuffed it royally. It was my worst nightmare on the dance floor. The crowd were just... You could feel them hurting for us. Felt like I was back in the boxing ring. It was fantastic. I just want to thank the crowd, because without you guys, I would have been a lemon. <laughs> my aim this week is to come out and, and hopefully fire. Two, three, four, and one. The cha-cha is similar to a rumba, just a bit faster, which hopefully suits me. On the spot. Oh, my God, that was good. Cha-cha is very technical. You've got to have a really nice basic element and balance and style. So you've really got to start concentrating on getting more of an arch through your foot. You're very flat-footed at the moment. The pressure is definitely stepping up, and I think I'd perform better under pressure. Hopefully this is where the nerves and the pressure will get to the other crew and they might fold. <laughs> Dancing the Cha Cha Cha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danny Green and his partner Natalie Lowe to the floor. <laughs> Well done, Danny and Matt. Mate, I don't want to harp on about it, but that was a great start. Much smoother than uh, maybe this time seven days ago. Yeah, no, I was, uh, <laughs> felt much happier and um, just wrapped to get it out of the way. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of nerves. The competition's really tight and everyone's working really, really hard. Yeah. Once again, <clears throat> I'm a big advocate for thanking you guys, because without the support, it makes it really difficult. When we do a move and everyone screams, just pumps your up. So thanks, guys. I was going to say, this is, this is you in your absolute element. The competition is fierce, the pressure is on, and the crowd is right here and they're loud. You've got to be really comfortable in this, isn't it? And my little pumpkin over there, Chloe's giving me the shaker <laughs> yeah. for good luck. Thanks and a bit of family. Fantastic. Let's see what the judges thought. Helen? Oh, yes, this competition is just getting tougher every week and there's so little in it. You made a breakthrough last week in showing more emotion, so that's a good thing, and you, I can see you're really trying to do that. I could almost say the same thing to you that I just said to Paul about um, you need to be more mobile through your top. You're too square. Okay, so you need to keep your shoulders where they are and turn your body underneath that, either forward and back, so you have more torque in your body. But good job, Danny. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Mark? Uh, mate, after last week when you stuffed a few things up, you're the comeback king, mate. I felt last week that, you know, there's a few things you need to do, come out with more emotion, you've done that. But you're leading Nat tonight. And I thought that, for me, it's a great thing to do because you're dancing this dance in time, which is difficult, and you're leading her confidently. I thought it was a little bit safe in choreography, but good consistency. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Mark. <laughs> Todd shaking his head. <laughs> safe in choreography, but he flung Nat up and spun around. <laughs> Twice, I thought the choreography was great, but uh, Nat said in the, in the video beforehand that it's a, it is a hard dance, and in parts of that, you reminded us of exactly how hard it is. But there's a raw, there was a raw sexuality in that, 
which you um, kind of you hit, which it needed to, right? Especially at the top of it, and then parts of it sort of just unwound, and you you looked really awkward. So it was hit and miss, but the hits were right up there, but the misses were right down there. So it's not a three. You'll be pleased to know tonight. <laughs> Any better than it's three? Probably mate. double that. But um, but do you know what? You did relax, and you gave it a bit of the old mojo. So more of that. Good Thanks, mojo. Thank you, judges. Guys, go and take a breather with Sonia in the green room. And if you like Danny's performance and you want to support his charity, which is SIDS and Kids, simply dial 1902 557712 or SMS Danny to 191977. And remember, lines are closed for now, but they will reopen later on. Guys, Mr Green. Now, you did get a three last week from Todd, but three is a lucky number for you or an unlucky number? When I'm getting scored out of 10, 3 is not that lucky, but it is. I'm very superstitious in the number 3. If, if I turn the, the, the radio or the TV on, it's got to be in a multiple of 3. I've got three tattooed, endless deck of 3s tattooed in my arms. I'm, I'm always doing things in 3. So you yeah. bounce off the ropes 3 times before you... Before I get, when I get in the ring, I was fighting, I bounce off the rope 3 times, just about bounce my team off the ropes, but I bounce off them 3 times, I touch my gloves 3 times before I start the fight. Everything's in 3s. I'm very superstitious, but I don't want another 3. I'm not that superstitious. <laughs> All right, let's get the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores, Todd McKinney. Have two of them, six. <laughs> Helen Ritchie. Seven. Mark Wilson. Yeah, seven. Well, twice as much luck from Todd tonight and an equal score with Paul and Eliza to start off with. I'm happy with that. Liquor's got three tens. So we're up with him, we're sweet. <laughs> All right, Dan. 